favorite of me. And I'm Abby. This little guy's Popeye. He wants a treat. And we are the RC Sailors. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we had a robot vacuum cleaner on the channel, uh, some of you guys were confused. But I had some positive feedback too. Yeah. Actually, while we we're at Flight Fest East, one of you all, one of you guys, flagged us down. Flagged me down and asked me if I still use my robot sweeper. Almost every day. Almost every day. I love them. I love them. <laughs> I do too. They're so cool. <laughs> so I got another one to bring to you guys. This one's a little bit more expensive than the iLife Ace. Six, I think that was the name of the other one I had on the channel. This is the iLife Beetle robot vacuum cleaner. It's officially our second RC vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and this one has only ran upstairs until this video. I have been using this for probably over three months. I've used it for a long time and I've just put off making a video. Um, as you can see, it already has some scuffs on it because I've used it so long. It goes under the this chairs This sweeper stuff. is way more powerful than my other one. This one is faster, it has more oomph to it, and so it will kind of jam itself under some of my furniture. Yep. Uh, it gets stuck sometimes. And so that's why it has scuffs. <laughs> and it will get stuck. So what the product recommends, uh, the instruction manual, is if your furniture doesn't clear 8 centimeters, put it up on pads. I don't listen to it. Nah, I just... We just let it get stuck. I just let it get stuck. Sometimes it'll go the whole time without getting stuck. Sometimes it'll go for a couple hours and then get stuck. And it'll beep and we'll yeah. find it and problem solved. My other one, from where it wasn't as forceful with the moving, it didn't get stuck under my upstairs furniture. But this one does just because it is a little bit Faster. more powerful. But I like this one better mm -hmm. because it picks up more. And my favorite feature that it has is right here on the remote. It has a max button, so it actually turns the suction up on this. It gets louder a little it, bit when the suction, it sounds more like a real vacuum. It sounds like it's actually sucking air, like a real vacuum. The old robot sweeper that we still have. That's the only one we have right now. Yeah, so this that's is why we one. keep referring to it. This is only our second robot vacuum. Um, that other one, doesn't get as loud. It do, I don't even know if it has a sucking power to it. It probably does, but this one definitely has more. Uh, so that's a big difference, a noticeable difference, but you don't have to have it on that higher setting. And I just ran this, a prob well, I just ran it today, and then I don't think I've emptied it for like two or three more runs on top of that. It so looks it is, like it's full. It's very, very, very full in here. Um, after your first couple runs, and it picks up all the time, like all the stuff, and it, you run it at least every other day or so. Uh, you'll notice you will only have to empty this out every couple of sweeps. I feel like this one picks up different stuff than the other yes, one. It picks like, up more stuff. I see, like what you normally see in a normal. <laughs> some fuzz that's coming out of it. <laughs> like a, like a normal sweeper type stuff, mm -hmm. and it does a better job of just picking up stuff in general. One of my favorite functions that this one has that the other one didn't, well, it has it, but this one's different. This one has rubber for the beater bar. Mm -hmm. The other one just has the bristles. bristles that go around it. The beater bar, or this beater bar with the rubber makes it easier to get the this stuff off. And, stuff. and it also helps push the hairs into the container to capture it. Whereas Instead the other one, tangled. it gets tangled. This one has a few little tangles. This up here usually just comes off this one and this one I'll have to cut off. But the other one, I actually have to cut the entire bar and it finally unwraps and you get an extra one. Comes with an extra nice. one, yeah, really nice. Uh, and just so you guys know, for all you guys that are watching our channel. Your wife will love you and you will love this. Christmas is coming up and if you don't get this one, look at the other one that we did on our channel. We'll try to have it carded up here somewhere for you to click on. You got to get one of these of the two because all oh, they're just they are just the coolest thing to be working on something else and you kick one of these on and it's passively sweeping and cleaning. It's just fun to watch. They're mesmerizing. Yep. But they do a good job. These 
these are the bristle brushes when it's on hard surfaces it does a really good job at sweeping any debris right in front so it goes into the vacuum and yeah. you also get two extra of those you get an extra filter inside to change really nice you get this tool to help you clean it, clean it. and the charging bay with a us plug charging it charges uh, the directions say in about 300 minutes yeah, um, I think close. the first time you get it, just let it charge overnight and then you'll never really have to worry about charging it again yeah. because this yeah. automatically finds the charging base as long as you leave enough room in front of it mm -hmm. to back out and then do its thing, it'll find its way back, which right. is really, really You neat. could hide it under a tall table or something and it could probably find its yep. way back in. You could hide it under a piano or something like that mm -hmm. you know we could do that with i ours. have it next to an end table in a in the corner of the room that i don't have anything sitting there it's just an empty corner and it finds its and way it back finds... most of the time not always and it finds its way back every time unless it gets stuck there you go that's right and the absolute coolest thing that this one has that my other vacuum didn't have is the invisible wall it is handy because with the other sweeper, what we would have to do is close doors and build little barricades. If we, let's say we are, we got a room that's cluttered and it's got wires and USB chargers and stuff on the floor. We just don't feel like picking it up, but we want to sweep the main area. We would have to build a barricade or close the door so it didn't go in that room. Now we don't have to do that. This has an infrared light when you turn it on and you set it on the other side of the room with a wall on the other side and it creates a barricade. You have two sides. One side is labeled working area, which right now is out here, and this is forbidden area. Mm -hmm. And it will not cross this. It does not Not once it. has this crossed this barricade. And the neat thing about this, it's, I mean, it's not rechargeable or anything. It's got two double A's in there. But, but I've ran it almost three months or over three months and haven't had to change we it just, yet. We just, leave it, on. it on. We leave it on the whole time for at least three months, like she said. We have not had to change those batteries, so they last a long time. I love that. Maybe the last six months, I don't know. But three solid months of being on, and we haven't had to change those batteries. So that's really cool. I like, I like this a lot. I know you kind of forget about it after a while. Mm -hmm. To let you know that it's still working, a green light blinks occasionally. It's very dim, so mm -hmm. it doesn't, it's not obtrusive or anything. It's very nice. And just like our other vacuum cleaner, this does have a spot cleaning option, an edge cleaning option, so it'll just do the edges of your house. Mm -hmm. The edges of my baseboards have never been cleaner since I've started using these robot vacuum cleaners. You can schedule things, uh, and the, of course the max button, which is just, Phenomenal. She loves the Max thing. Uh, it does make it louder. So like if I'm watching TV or something, I might have to turn it up a couple notches. But the other sleeper and when this is on its normal setting are so um, unobtrusive that you really don't notice them. I he'll don't play, to... he'll sit on the ground and be playing video games and he'll just yeah. let it like bump around. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Very impressive. We are getting a little bit addicted to these. Uh, one thing to mention too is that uh, a lot of people ask, and I'm sure they would ask, but uh, let's say you're at the top of stairs. This will detect getting close to the edge and it'll turn back and not go over the edge of steps. Never once has either one of ours fallen downstairs. Right, and we've now had <laughs> robot sweepers for, for probably almost close a to a year. Yeah. They're amazing, guys. I highly recommend this one. I still highly recommend the last one. It just yeah. depends on how much power you want. The only con I find to this one is that it does move just a little too fast, for my opinion, as it shoves itself under furniture that it shouldn't shove itself under. Fair enough. But other than that, this picks up better than my other one, and uh, I overall just like it better. Yeah, I think so too. I think you really should, based on your budget, pull the trigger on one of the two as a nice surprise gift for yourself or for your significant other. And or compared for, to the, sorry for interrupting. Uh, no, for your parents, <laughs> uh, any, any parents, I don't care if they're uh, 100 years old, I think they would love this thing. And I don't own a Roomba, so I don't really know what we're missing out with that name brand, but this only comes in at a fraction of the cost yeah, of absolutely. a Roomba. I, this one is under $200, and the other one that I had is under $150. That's so, so cool. I mean, I think some Roombas, I think they have some cheaper ones now, but I know every time I see one, it's like over $1,000.
And guys, give Abby a thumbs up on this video for using this for like three months and now sharing the info with you instead of just using it like one or two times, uh, like some of our RC things that we do. You know, we've really put this through the crazy testing. Well, you and we, we only get, a, you know, we only get one of these, so I get it out as soon as we get it and start using it ASAP. Yeah. So sorry that it's scuffed up for the video. Um, you know, if you have furniture like mine, yours will probably get scuffed up too. But I believe you can just take, probably, yeah, you can take a Mr. Clean and clean that right off. I just can't find my Mr. Clean magic eraser, so <laughs> it stayed like this. Highly recommend this. It'll be yeah. linked in the description box below. I think if you pick one up, you will thank me later. And you'll be Mr. or Mrs. Popular for <laughs> Christmas time. I mean, if you've been a skeptic, just take our word. Know that we tell you guys everything as honest as possible. In fact, it seems like more than half the stuff we put on the channel lately, we tell you not to buy. So <laughs> this is definitely worth worth your money. And I think you'll just... You just thank us later, like she said, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. That will probably be straight RC. <laughs> Bye! Go get one. Here, get one. I'll, I'll save this one. Okay, he's gonna get one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just pushing it. Probably. But it got him. No, I just pushed him, but we got <laughs>